Next, I'd like to introduce Lauren Sweat. Uh, she is the Acting Assistant Secretary of OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, under the U.S. Department of Labor. We're honored to have a top official from Federal OSHA here to help us kick off this Stand Up for Grain Safety Week. Her presence shows OSHA's, OSHA's commitment to working with the grain, feed, processing, and milling industry in facilitating a safer workplace. Assistant Secretary Sweat also made it a, a point in her busy schedule to participate in last year's kickoff event. Please join me in welcoming Assistant, our Acting Assistant Secretary for the OSHA, Ms. Lauren Sweat. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting me to participate in this year's Stand Up to Prevent gain, Grain Engulfment kickoff event. I'd like to thank ASMARC for hosting this event and the National Grain and Feed Association for coordinating the activities for the Stand Up for Grain Engulfment Prevention Week. I also want to thank the National Grain Elevator Processing Society, the North American Millers Association, the Grain Handling Safety Association, the University of Texas Arlington, Grain Journal Magazine, and the State of Illinois for their support. I have the honor of working every day with over a thousand professionals committed to worker safety. Several of them are here today from OSHA's Chicago, Kansas City, and Peoria offices, and the Illinois and Wisconsin consul consultation offices. I want to take a moment to thank them for their dedication to public service. Most importantly, I want to thank those of you in attendance today for valuing the safety and lives of workers. OSHA appreciates the commitment of everyone here from the grain industry, the training and education community, and our government partners to prevent grain engulfment. Without your hard work and commitment, the shared mission to keep workers safe would not be possible. This is the third year we've come together for this important initiative. Last year's event reached more than 8,000 workers with over 3,000 hours of training provided. Through these events, the message of grain engulfment prevention is reaching workers who may otherwise never hear this vital message. Still, despite these efforts, too many workers are injured or lose their lives in preventable grain engulfments every year. According to the latest data available from Purdue University, there were 23 documented grain engulfment incidents in 2017 that resulted in 11 fatalities. Participating in this week's events is an important way to start a new growing season. Highlighting and emphasizing how to prevent engulfment is time well spent and could save a worker's life. Suffocation is the leading cause of death in grain storage bins. A matter of seconds is all it takes for flowing grain to engulf and trap a worker. Based on the average flow rate for grain, a six foot tall worker can be covered in just 11 seconds. In less than 60 seconds, someone can be submerged and in serious danger of death by suffocation. One minute is all it takes to change everything. So we must encourage workers and employers to be vigilant at all times, beyond today, beyond this week. Safety doesn't start when we show up at a stand up or a campaign kickoff event and it certainly cannot stop when we leave here today. Safety must start on day one and be a continuous process. It starts with the first step, whether that is a safety meeting, improvements in safety and health programs, participation in a stand-up, or one worker who takes five seconds to think about the next step they're going to take. OSHA welcomes all grain industry stakeholders to join this effort to emphasize worker protection and ways to reduce injuries and prevent fatalities from engulfment. We will measure the success of this week by the numbers of workers reached and the number of training hours provided, because those are the numbers we can tally. However, the true success of this week will be the statistic that we will never know. The true success of this week will be if we can just save one life and prevent one worker from becoming just another terrible statistic. Together, we can make a difference and save lives. Let's do all that we can to send every worker home safe and healthy each and every day. I thank you very much for all of your efforts.
I hope you picked up on that, the numbers there and, and the measurements that she, she mentioned that uh, uh, Ms. Sweat mentions. You know, last year, 8,000 hours, 3,000 workers, or 8,000 workers, 3,000 hours, um, and that those, those numbers are, are being tracked. And so that's part of what we want to encourage you to do is to register on the Stand Up for a Safety website and be involved with, uh, with that and, and record this information so that it's, it's out there and available. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Sweat.